All right, well, good evening, everyone. It's 6 o'clock. I will call our August 10th, 2023 meeting of the Airport Advisory Board to order. Kayla, can you please call the roll? Chairperson Harrison Merrill. Here. Here. Thank you. We'll uh, we'll call Marsha in when she gets in here. It's nice to see everyone here and have all five of us up here at once. Thank you, everyone. Um, first thing on our agenda is a public invited to be heard. Would anyone like to speak at the first public invited to be heard? And if you can start with your name and address, you've got five minutes. Go for it, Melinda. Um, can you turn on the mic though? Melinda Jordan, 1110 Twin Peaks Circle, Longmont. Um, first of all, I want to tell you, I got a notification about a fast webinar on August 23rd regarding Swift fuel, Fuels. That's for Marcia when she gets here, too, because she's interested in that. Um, so it's an update on where they are on the 100R unleaded gas. So I did register for it, and if, I, if I'm not present, I'll get a, a recording of it. So that should be interesting. Um, then the air show. So we had a team meeting uh, Saturday. And we decided to scrub a fly-in or any activity for September 23rd, 2023, so that we can conserve our resources and really focus on 2024. So our next meeting will be September 23rd, 2023, at 9 a.m. in Levi's Airport Manager's Conference Room. And I told him, I'll bring the donuts. And I'll try to get voodoo if I can. Um, and then, uh, so we... Uh, the best date for the air show teams is going to be September 14th, 2024. So we have pulled that date. Um, I said 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just Malcolm had asked if we could maybe go a little longer and stretch it out. So we'll see um, what the program starts to look like. The And then FYI, that means we get there at like 4 in the morning to set up. So it is a long day. Our leadership, though, is starting to coalesce, fall into place. People are, are starting to really um, find their divisions and a good sense of duties. So on the September 23rd meeting, um, I've asked for people to gather all their inputs. We'll put them all on the table and then divide and conquer and really start um, assigning titles and come up with the org chart for the event. I've got a few people in there, but we need to finalize that. Our theme right now is Future of Aerospace, which is not the most clever theme. If somebody's got something better, we're still partial to Racket in the Rockies. Um, but <laughs> Future of Aerospace. And then uh, we're featuring the St. Brain Valley School District Innovation Center. That's really a cornerstone for us. And then the higher ed institutions, um, Ames, um, Spartan, any of those that want to come along. And I've uh, already queried this um, Silver Creek Leadership Academy for a capstone student, uh, a student that needs to do their capstone, would they like to take this as their project? So I've got that query in there off at their retreat right now. So I should hear more in a couple of weeks after school starts. Um, the team's come up with some really good ideas, some fun, um, Malcolm had the idea of starting the air show with a, um, a car parade down the runway to officially close the runway, kind of get everybody's attention out there. Um, I've secured the band already, and they're very loud. So they could start all that, and we could really get that attention grabbing um, that we haven't really done. We, that hasn't been our strongest suit in the past, and then really uh, call attention to the field, and then the announcer can be heard, really make it more of the kind of air shows that we go to and um, where there's more information about what's in the air and what's on the ground and that sort of thing. So we're ready, the team is ready to start diving in, securing sponsors, donations, commitments, uh, entertainment, uh, the whole shamazzle. So um, we're really working to develop a, an engaging program. We've got, we're over a year out, which is uh, the, the main thing we needed to do, and then we've got a lot of creativity. So, and our team is about, I think my distribution list is at least 14 people. And we had a good show on Saturday, despite it being um, rather impromptu. And so it's looking good. It's all, it's all coming together finally. And 
um, we're feeling encouraged about it. So if you guys have any questions or input um, for the team, please let me know. And we will be reporting back to you regularly. We'll start having a regular month, monthly meeting and provide an update on what's going on. And then we've got a few people on the board that'll be um, participating as well so they can be bringing reports back. Thank you. And Marsha, I'll repeat, um, there's a webinar on the 23rd uh, with FAST, which is the FAA safety team. And it's about the, um, the new 100R unleaded gas. And I registered for that and we'll see, um, see what that looks like to get some more information about it and what, when it's gonna be available, that sort of thing, the swift fuel. Thanks. Thank you, Melinda. Um, I can't ask you a question and back and forth, but can you just repeat for the record the date and time of the next meeting? Next meeting for the air show team is September 23rd, 2023, 9 a.m. in the airport manager's conference room at the airport. I heard donuts and that's where I kind of zoned out, so thank you. <laughs> Glazed over. <laughs> and then the air show officially, uh, right now, um, pending any conflicts with the city or anything like that, September 14th, 2024. And that was coordinated with our local performers when they would be back here to be able to perform. Thank you, Melinda. Anyone else like to speak at first public invited to be heard? Seeing none, we'll move on to approval of the July 2023 minutes. Um, does anyone have any comments, revisions on the minutes? Otherwise, I'll go through my list. That's, that's number one on my list. All right, so page one, line 11. It does say that Steve Shook was present. He should be ab listed as absent. Um, page one, line 33. It says the motion carried six to nothing. There were only four of us here, so it should be four to nothing. Page two, line one, same story. Motion carried six to zero in the notes. It should be four to zero. Page three, line 13, same thing, four to zero. Page three, line 16. Um, the, there is an acronym there is AOP. I believe that should be AOPA. -A. That sounds correct. Yep. Line 22, I believe it was Don Dolce who spoke, non, not Don Dorsey. And that's what I had. Any other comments, revisions from anybody? Did you get those, Kayla, or do you want me to repeat any of them? Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone want to make a motion to approve then? I'll make a motion. It's uh, be approved with the changes. Uh, Motioned seconded. and seconded. Um, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries five to zero. Updates from the airport manager. All right. Levi. Updates. I will skip my first item, which was air show. Melinda did an excellent job of covering everything that I would have covered on that. So, all right. Uh, next item I have on updates. Uh, kind of a multi-unit here. Different improvements we've been doing on the airfield, starting with mowing. That continues to be kind of a learning process as we kind of deal um, with the new mowers that are out there. I had a meeting this morning where we went out and did a, another survey of the airport and the mowing map that we created. And we thought we were missing quite a bit of chunks, but it just turns out that maybe there was some miscommunication with some of the mowers. So I've uh, asked to meet with some of the public works guys. So we're gonna all kind of cross train on exactly what needs to be mowed. So when any of us are out there on the field and people are mowing, we can tell them like, hey, no, you missed this, you mow that. So we'll keep a closer eye on them. There's been a couple issues uh, from my standpoint. They don't seem to be cleaning up the areas along the fence rows and the the uh, ditch and the, the, the front of it. It kind of, it's looking, they're leaving some weeds. So we need to, to up that a little bit. On top of that, for mowing, also I'm looking at entering a letter of uh, agreement with the local farmers to cut some hay on the airfield. Apparently that's been going on for years. There's just no documentation of it. So currently working with the city on what needs to be done to make sure all T's are crossed and I's dotted on that. Um, new wind socks up this week, which is just a nice city, little update, and they look really nice out there. Um, this week also we did begin um, the improvements on the airport perimeter road. Um, they've already done all the repaving in between the taxi lanes, which is really nice because I'm looking forward to getting rid of that gravelly 
stuff that was there before, which caused great issues with dragging uh, rocks onto the taxi lanes. So that's looking pretty nice. They're continuing on with the rest of the perimeter road today, filling in the potholes, uh, grading up, releveling the rest of that. So it should be really nice when they're done with it. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I had on airfield maintenance. Was there any questions on any of that or anything? All right, uh, Vice Chair Dean first. Um, as far as um, I did mention last time, do you have any information on the gate by chance? Would any updates from like the gate if the was opening slowly or it was rusty? The chains. Oh, um, we I did call the um, Waterford Corporation to come out and do some gate repairs. They haven't made it out yet, but okay. they've been contacted. Yeah. You have a, a time or estimate for that? <sighs> Not recently. Um, no, nah, I'm not 100% on it. It's one of those things we're just kind of on the list for until it gets down here, which it's, it won't probably be more than a month or so. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Mr. Salamatin. Yeah, just uh, two quick questions about the farmer, the farmer that you're going to engage with. Mm -hmm. Would there be any positive revenue from that, or is that just kind of... No, that's going to be probably an in-kind agreement. Um, it's really expensive to mow that if we have to. So it'd be benefit for everyone if they want some hay and we want to get that mowed for free. It would be really nice. Oh, yeah, that, that was my second point was how much savings do you think we'll be able to get from using the farm rather than the Significant. Mower? It'll be thousands of dollars. Like half? Uh, I, ha I hesitate to say that much. Uh, but, of course, we'd have to run the figures and kind of see on that. But, yeah. Sweet. Good work. All right. You're good. Keep going. Uh, next item I got on there, the, it has, the airport survey has officially begun. We initiated a survey uh, with local company to essentially go look at all the parcels on the airfield. We don't really have a good parcel map. We have a parcel map that was created in 2000, and I want to say it was 16, uh, without a lot of provenance behind that map. Um, so we're kind of having that redone. Uh, there's been some headache struggles recently, and I'm sure I covered this in previous meeting. Um, with getting leases completed because we have no good exhibits for leases, nothing showing the parcels. So um, <laughs> my my joke is it's they're all Google Maps, you know. But actually, a lot of them are Google Maps. They'll say little exhibit A, and there'll be little Google in the bottom of the corner. So not exactly the most professional. So those are moving forward with being completed. Um, that'll take a, a good chunk of my professional services budget for this year, um, about twenty grand all all together. That was quoted. The nice thing about that, it's going to be brand new map. It's going to be, we're also going to be, have digital copies. So it'll be something there, you know, for future too. So we can add to it, we can update it, we can maintain that map um, moving forward. It'll be nice. Uh, any questions on that? Okay. Um, ADSB tracking. Um, one of the things I'm trying to get a handle on for the airport. Um, I gave an update on this, I know, some months back. I just wanted to give a further update on it, is making sure we're getting good figures on airport operations. Um, important for funding, important for, you know, just general operational knowledge, important for, and when we're making a case to a business or sort of the city about who's utilizing our airport. Um, we signed a contract with a company called um, Airport Monitoring Services. Um, as of yesterday, they have actually shipped their unit to us. Um, that should be installed in the FBO. I'm hoping now, knock on wood, within this month and up and running pretty quickly after that. Um, that'll give us a starting point uh, to get a count, to get uh, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly figures for the airport with all kinds of great data. Any questions on that? Okay. Um, that's most of it. One other item I'm meeting with, well, the city's meeting with the FAA. Uh, next week we're just talking about general um, land use around the airport, and they're going to comment on kind of uh, what they see is important for in keeping grant assurances and stuff like that. Um, that meeting will be next week with uh, John Sweeney uh, with the FAA. Anyway, who from the city is in that meeting? Um, that'll be... Uh, be me. I think Phil's in on that one. Uh, city's attorney's office. I don't know if Chris will be there or not. Um, and then Jennifer from planning should yep. be there on that one. Yep. Thank you. Yep. All right. 
Any other questions? That's what I have for the update. Oh, sorry, Steve, one second. Go sorry. ahead. Sorry, I got a quick question back on the ADSB. Uh huh. Is that that's for vehicles? So that's just for that's for aircraft. So that's be aircraft tracking for the airport, and it utilizes ADSB information. Uh, so, so you're just bringing in the inf the, the equipment to be able to read yeah. the ADSB off the aircraft, and then uh, that gives you the data points. Exactly. Okay. Specific. I was so just trying to figure it out. Yeah, there's there's ways we can kind of track right. it ad hoc here through like FlightAware and ADSB Share stuff like sure. that. This is a dedicated unit for the airport, for the airport. with a 25 antenna that. Sure focuses on and measures just traffic at this airport and what comes along with that service is also um, for use of you those of you who have utilized power bi they create a power bi interface that you can essentially customize whatever data points you is that want permanent yeah oh cool Excellent. yeah okay. it, it'll be a um a yearly charge but right, it's right. Fr from a budget standpoint it's it's nominal it's it's okay. low enough i can put on my credit card so. <laughs> no, i was just curious about how, how it worked and yeah I it's know, i know most of the airplanes are required to have adsb so you're yep. just yeah okay it's it's exciting stuff you know the the majority of the fleet out there is, is a, either adsb now or very shortly going to be adsb i would hope and, and what's not uh, we can certainly accommodate that you know in the figures make adjustments for and the company is currently working on other methods of even tracking those. So we have 100% accurate, which would be amazing if we can get to that point. Thanks, Levi. Yep. That's a, that's a good update, Levi. A lot of small airports don't have that. Yes. So that's a big deal to be able to do that. It is nice. And I got um, this crew has actually been operating out of uh, Boulder for a bit, and they love it. It's I've been highly successful there, so they come with all kinds of good reviews from not only there but all over. So I'm excited. Awesome. Okay. Any other updates? That's what I got. Questions for Levi and updates. Otherwise, we'll roll into the budget and we can have questions there too. Okay. Budget. All right. Sounds good. Budget items. Um, Fortunately, I didn't bring the budget with me today. I can give you some updates on some general stuff that I do know. I'm working this morning through the maintenance items and stuff like that um, on the airfield and calculating I paid. Currently, we're at uh, $43,000 left of $100,000 on maintenance budget. That budget is going to be um, definitely sucked up all this year. We'll be using all that money. Um, one thing I didn't put on the update, which perhaps I should have, the budget concern is we just priced out bollards. Uh, to get the airfields, um, gas lines, um, fire hydrants up to standard. Uh, there's a lot of areas that should have bollards around them that don't and kind of the areas that are easy to hit by a car. That was, uh, cheapest bid for that was $13,000 just for the material for that. So that's going to chunk suck up another big chunk of our, our maintenance budget for that. Um, other budget items. Uh, that's all kind of, to my understanding, being approved and talked about in the city right now. I did put in uh, for budget for the air show. I don't foresee any issues with that being denied or anything like that. Uh, but I think that was 45000 that we put in for that. So that we should be uh, hopefully a help moving forward with that. Um, that's kind of what I got off the top of my head for budget. Were there any specific questions that I could address or answer? Vice Chair Dean. Yeah, what's the current mowing budget? How much are we going to spend this year on mowing? So um, that's one of the reasons why we're spending such close attention on that. Previous mowing budget was $9,000 a year. This year, the lowest bid was $42,000 a year. So it was a huge hike. Um, so, um, yeah, that's that was the lowest bid. <laughs> so that's currently what we're working with. Is there any reason that it's jumped so much? Like the gentleman that had been mowing the airport had been doing it for... 20, 30 years, and was doing it the price for all that time. And it was just him. He's out there with his tractor. And when we went back again, you know, we're going with, you know, mowing companies and stuff like that. And, and prices just seem like they've they've adjusted a little bit over the years. Is it possible it'd be cheaper for us to possibly get a mower for the airport and maybe do it ourselves? I, I asked about that, and that's something that I'll continue to go back to and reevaluate. Um, the last time I brought it up and we sat down and kind of crunched the numbers, it, it wasn't looking like it would be cheaper. Um, to my understanding, the, even the parks department hires out all their mowing now. They don't even have their own mowing equipment. Really? Um, 
the airport has some additional resources we could potentially utilize, um, like the DIA sale and using grant money to buy a John Deere tractor with a big mower blade or something like that. Um, if something like that should pop up in the DIA sale, and unfortunately there's nothing like that this year in the DIA sale, um, we could potentially sit down and reconfigure those numbers. Okay, you know, if we get the tractor for this price and if we can use, you know, public works guy for this many hours, you know, would it, would it balance out? Uh, I suppose that's another item I should have put in my update, um, DIA sale uh, end of the month this month, and I will be attending that um, this year also. Do you have to go that route? The reason I asked is there are some other local au uh, auction options like Ritchie Brothers that do have that kind of stuff. Maybe that would be an option. For mowing? For mowing. Yeah, so we actually put it out last fall for open contract, uh, for open bids, and just mm -hmm. let whoever, you know, advertised it said, give us your bids for cheap. So, yeah, anyone who, who wants to bid on it certainly can. Okay. Yep. Can you just tell us what you're going for in the DIA auction? Or so, DIA thing this year and... I'm hoping to... Grant funding with it, too. Yeah, um, I'm hoping... I literally just got the new updated list this morning. I shot it forward to Fleet. I want Fleet to kind of get their eyes on it and give me their input on too on what they feel might be beneficial. I'm hoping to get this year. They have a large uh, assortment of pickup trucks for you know next to nothing. Our cost would be a couple grand. Um, that would be great for me for a stopgap measure until we were able to get a new airport vehicle. Um, the the Dodge Durango I have doesn't really run much <laughs> anymore. Um, sometimes it runs, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but having something stopgap, even if it is an older pickup truck that I could at least throw, you know, the my rakes and shovels in the back would be really great. And the benefit of DIA besides it being cheap is the grants, right? Yeah. So that the the nice thing about that DIA cell program, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, uh, DIA yearly um, joins up with... Uh, Colorado Department of Transportation, DIA sells their used equipment. They s essentially switch everything out. I want to say it's every five years they just get all new equipment. Um, so last year they had a big influx of uh, skid steers. So they were all 2017 models. Um, they sold them for, I want to say it was ten grand for a skid steer model, and then the CDOT picked up 80% of that cost uh, and wrote it in a grant for us, and all we had to do was was paid the, the balance. So it's for, as far as equipment goes, it's sealer. The the uh, thing to watch is uh, just to make sure that you are getting a good piece of equipment, and that's why I usually insist on bringing a mechanic with me when we go to those sales. Yeah. There's a reason it's cheap. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Any other questions for Levi on budget? Navigation easements? All right, uh, navigation easements. I know we talked a little bit about uh, last month on kind of what we wanted to go with. What I should probably do on that is I'll get to this board. I'll shoot out a copy of the navigation easements um, that has been written and kind of passed back and forth between the airport and city attorney's office and with legal advisors. I'll get those guys out to you so you guys can review those, kind of see what um, they look like and start – and I'm getting some input back from you guys and getting some uh, thought on perhaps how the city uh, might want to apply such easements or where they might want to apply such easements and then probably move forward after that. Any questions on navigation easements at the moment? Don't see anyone yet. Um, okay. Lee, I think what would be really helpful for us, I mean, this list is an action item. Clearly, we're not going to take action yeah. tonight. Mm -hmm. But for next month to steer us with the action you'd like us to take. Okay. So is this a recommendation to council? Is this to the city manager? Um, I know we've had discussion about those, about the navigation means. We've had discussion about where they apply. It would be really good to have the attorney's advice on that so we're okay. not, we're able to follow expert advice. Okay. While we all have thoughts, while we all have our own perspectives, I don't think any of us are experts on navigation easements. All righty. Questions, thoughts from anyone else? Quiet tonight. Okay. Leave anything else from your perspective? That's all I got. All right. Final public invited to be heard. Melinda, you want another chance? Are you good? You don't need to. Anyone? <laughs>
since I can't have a back and forth, I'm going to close the public invited to be heard and open up to board, council, and staff comments, and the air show would be lovely to be a topic, Vice Chair Dean. Well, the only one I do have for Levi is the uh, Prairie Dog. Um, I didn't hear anything about that. Last month we talked about uh, cost and bids mm -hmm. and possible um, remedies. Do you have anything, updates on that? I haven't really got any updates yet, so it's all the budgeting is going on right now. I know the wildlife guys also put in a big chunk, you know, of thought process and time into to focusing on that also. So I'm sure in some respect it's going to be addressed. I'm just not sure how yet. Just got to kind of wait for see what the city gives us to the green thumb, thumbs up on. You think within the next month, by next month, we can have some information? I, I would I would hope so. I okay. can't speak, you know, with authority on that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Councilmember Martin. Um, thank you. I just want to extend my compliments to Melinda. Um, sounds like the air show is really coming together. And, um, you know, it's it's pretty normal for old institutions to, to take a year or two to resurrect uh, post-pandemic. It seems to be the way things are going. So I'm, I'm really glad to see that this one is, is looking like it's going to get resurrected and it's going to be a good year. I would second that for sure. Any other board comments? Staff comments? Everyone's real quiet tonight. Okay. Seeing as there's nothing else on the agenda, we'll call the meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night.